I just want to say as I look into this mirror, I just want to tell everybody, I love myself, okay? However, I love myself enough to get this weight off. It is time I have played with and it's time to just get it off. So I want you to enjoy the video and it's all about loving yourself. And here we go. Welcome back to BJ Spot. And remember what I said last week, it's not always about food with losing weight. There are a lot of parts of the piece of the puzzle. Tom Twister. <laughs> but when was the last time you truly looked at yourself in the mirror and really liked yourself? I'm talking about you. You and you. Okay? When was the last time you looked at yourself deeply into the mirror and liked yourself? When was it? Did you avoid the mirror when your face was getting a little fluffy or a little fat? Are you depressed? Are you was unhappy and your face just looked really sad? Or even like me, when the aging process came in, <laughs> that could be a part of weight too because that can be depressing. You see the wrinkles each decade, I get new wrinkles. So we're going to talk about tonight about truly looking at yourself and truly liking yourself because that helps with the weight also. So we're going to get this video started and you know what I'm going to say. And here we go. I ran away from heartbreak. Got nothing in return for my pain. Welcome back. I am Betty J. Gathers, daughter of Jean Grey. And I'm so glad that all of you came back, my old subscribers, and the ones that haven't subscribed. Listen, you will have so much fun here. I promise. And I'm consistent too. Okay? And tonight, we're going to talk about a BJ spot. We're going to talk about looking in that mirror. Do we avoid the mirror? Do we avoid people because of our weight or how we look? I used to do it all the time and I talked to someone this morning and she said, yeah, I understand. In the comments, tell me if you do. Okay? I will avoid people if I pick up weight. Hey, we got to have some problem. And what are we missing out when we're avoiding people? We're avoiding places. And then we take ourselves into isolation. Don't wanna take it slow. <laughs> you know what we do then? A BJ spot. Yes, sir. BJ spot. BJ spot. We got Betty's waistline. Okay. And we got our honey. And you know my little talk. I never have been. I didn't get blessed with that in my family, but somebody did. <laughs> but okay, we are going to get this started. And you know what I'm going to say? Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And here we go. I am back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm ready for this. Okay, this is to me really deep because I think most of us suffer from really looking in the mirror of our face. Let's do this. I like that. <laughs> our bodies. And I know once I told you about my secret, and I have a video on that about me and my weight. And the closest people to me know that. Even one person said, you are happy when you're thin. <laughs> so, and also, when I went to the grocery store, and I know I'm not the only one because I've ran into people 
that do the same thing. And I could know you very well. And I could see you probably done saw me in the food aisle. And I'll go, um, I just thought about something in the ice cream aisle. <laughs> and then I'll go, um, on another aisle. Because I just don't, you know, want them to see that I'm heavy. But what I did, I really changed on that since I told you. Because even the weight I am now, I feel heavy. You know, some people would say, oh, she's not overweight. She looks good. But I myself personally feel heavy. So I know of another friend that do the same thing. And she would avoid me with really a couple of them. And they would say, especially if I'm like super thin, they would say, oh, girl, I meant to work on my weight. And um, I meant to work on my weight. And what I would tell them is, I don't care about your weight. I want to know how you doing. That's exactly what I say. I want to know how you are doing. She already knows she gained weight. I know I gained weight. You and you and you and you know you gained weight. But another thing it does when you don't like yourself is it makes you gain weight. Because it makes you feel good. Food is a feel goodness, okay? It gives you that feel good high, those endorphins. But what happens is you keep eating and eating and eating and you get heavier and heavier. And then you don't have any clothes to wear out. And then what happens? You go into isolation. <laughs> Which makes you hate yourself even more. And the sad part I'm laughing is... Do you know how many events I have missed because of a couple of pounds? I have missed picnics. I have missed parties. You don't want to put on a bathing suit because you, you know you're fat or fluffy or whatever, you know, we call it. And then that caused more isolation. Then depression sets in. And even looking in the mirror and you're depressed, that's, not, that's another whole bear within itself sometimes you see yourself in a different way where you think you look awful and people see you in a different light okay to them they just love you and they give you a hug as you hug yourself and it makes you feel better and guess what you'll eat less now we're gonna see what you're gonna say in the mirror now now we know better we do better when we look into this mirror, and don't speak it out, speak it in your mind, I like me. I'm not going to avoid the mirror anymore. And just stare and look at yourself. And it works. It really does work. Because I know when I told all of you about I have an issue with weight and I used to didn't want to talk about it. And I will pick up a couple of pounds. And I would hide. But now that I told you, I have no place to hide. So I might as well like the way I look. And you, you, and you. I will be back next week on BJ Spot. And here we go. You always posting the pictures. Trying to look like you winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen.